Say something for the camera. Fish them hard, baby. Larry catches the biggest bass. So we were in Walmart a couple of days ago and we saw this combo and it was $15. It was in the clearance bin. Hopefully they still have them because I know they're like normally what, $50, $60. So we're going to run into Walmart. Hopefully get this combo if they still have it. If they don't have it, we're going to go in the car and we're going to cry. So let's no, run. I'm going to cry if they don't have it. So let's run into this Walmart here and see if they have this combo. It is 15 bucks or it was. It might even be cheaper. So we'll see how much it is. We'll see what we can do with it and see if we can catch some big old big mouth bass in it on it i <laughs> i'm gonna be absolutely crushed if they do not have these they better have these 15 dollar combo reels because if they don't i'm actually gonna be a little upset about it because i planned in my head i'm like people are gonna love this i know you probably haven't seen these before because they're still fairly new and i haven't even touched the reel on the combo so we have to get it. and they still have them they still have them or at least they still have the trash cans they were in we came to the wrong side clearance clearance fishing rods Got a whole bucket of them then there's more over here and then there's one this one has a kit with it Oh, it's like salt water. Of course, that would be on sale. I can't use that. Whatever. That tackle box would be cool to have, though. And then it has holes in it, so you can put your rod on your tackle box. How bougie is that? Do you want to pick one? Pick any one, either bin. That one. <laughs> this one does not have a reel with I'm just kidding. <laughs> They're all just jammed in here. Are we getting that one? Nope. We can make it work. <laughs> Fifteen dollar combo room. Do you need it? I personally don't, but you personally do. All right, and the viewers need it too, whether they know it or not. What y'all do? Working on a school project. What school? Montevallo. We're in production. So, is that okay? All right, boys. We got the combo now we go check out hopefully it actually rings up for $15 or it might be less and then it comes with some baits but we'll check those out whenever we get to the water so stay tuned So a couple of days ago, we went and bought a spinning combo out of the clearance rack at Walmart. It's 15 bucks. I'm not too fond on spinning gear. There's nothing wrong with it, but I just don't use it a lot. So I decided what better time than to buy one off the clearance rack at Walmart for 15 bucks. If I like it, oh well. If I don't like it, oh well. That's what we're gonna do. We got it in the truck right now. It's over there, we're gonna go grab it out of the truck, sit over here, unbox it. It has line on it already, but I know spinning reels and monofilament line can kind of be hit or miss. Hopefully the memory isn't too bad on it because it was in the clearance bin that makes me automatically think that the line on it has probably been sitting on the reel for a long time but the good thing about it is most walmarts are climate controlled most of them some of them are hot some of them are cold the line has been sitting in the ac it shouldn't be it shouldn't have too much memory i'm not sure what type of line is on it but we're going to figure that out when we get it out of the truck you can look back through my videos and see the last time that i used a spinning rod i don't know if i posted a video with a spinning rod this year so this is a big step for me i'm growing as a person i'm growing as a youtube semi-professional angler Woo. man this thing does not look bad at all it's the abu garcia vengeance reel and on top of that it comes with lures you can't beat it honestly right now i'm just kind of sitting up here contemplating my life choices of buying this reel or this combo excuse me even though it's 15 dollars, i don't have that much confidence with the spinning setup like i've used them plenty of times it just always seems like something goes wrong something always goes wrong every time whether it's my fault or the combo's fault seems like i always have some sort of issue with it let's see I think spinning combos are probably the most popular way to fish in the world. The fact that I'm not, I don't want to say good at them because I can use them, but they're not my favorite way to fish in the world. It's just kind of weird to me. I don't know. All right, welcome everybody back to another Larry Melton Jr. video. Today we have this Abu Garcia Vengeance combo. So we've already used the bait cast version of this combo and it's pretty sweet. Man, that reel feels pretty smooth. I'm not gonna lie to you, I might like it. But we've already used the bait cast version of this thing. We haven't got the spinning, and the only reason why we hadn't got the spinning is because I don't like spinning combos, but for 15 bucks, I couldn't pass it up. This thing comes with lures, we're gonna look at those first. I might need a kniff to open this thing. Yeah, I don't wanna break that rod since there's a zip tie. So we're gonna go run to the truck and get a knife. My dad always told me, man doesn't have at least four or five knives with him at all times. You can't trust him, and I did not have this with me, so I might not be trustworthy. Got it. 
That was a nice Power Ranger sound effect I made there. The zip tie alone's worth 15 bucks. That was difficult. All right, the lures on this thing are held on by a little sticker. That is so clutch. They give you the head, and these heads right here are not cheap. Like, this thing was $30, and I need to see what it retailed for before that. Berkeley Bait Bonus Pack, three-piece Power Swimmer, 3.3 inch. I mean, since they're the small ones, I really don't think we can go wrong with throwing them to that. So check this out. You get three different color options. You get a white one, this little one right here. I'm not really sure what color you would call that. It's kind of like a grayish, some blue and green and purple flake in there. So that's a good all around color. And you get this one, which is kind of a white pearl, some green black flake in there. Man, I need to make some more fishing lures. This is kind of making me a little sad right here. Remind me of those good old days looking at the flake in the baits. Ooh, I almost dropped that in the water. If I would have lost that one, I would have been a little hurt. All right. So uh, we got three of these things and then it comes with a three pack of hooks Which I mean this is pretty much worth the $15 right here because I'm sure these three hooks alone Probably run you about five a pack of three of these will run you about two dollars So you got seven eight dollars of the combo right here Then you get pretty much a free rod and reel with your pack of bait So about the rod this rod is a seven foot medium So pretty much standard spinning rod and then the reel ratio is yeah, it is on there I got to reel it a little bit to show it Five one to one gear ratio reel. This is one of those that you could take out of the store and you could be pretty much set to go fish with. I think this is a really cool combo because I'm pretty sure that the most popular fishing rod and reel setup, just like fishing in general, is a spinning setup. The most popular style of bait is either a fluke or like a swim bait style for soft plastics, artificial bait. They give you pretty much everything you need, whether you're going bass fishing, whatever style of fishing. There's multiple species that'll eat one of these right here. We don't have a lot of wind today, it's a little windy. We're gonna throw this thing, and then with one of these heads on it, we're also gonna take like a box of jerk baits and crankbait, stuff like that, just in case we need to switch it up a little bit if this stuff isn't working for us. Cause I'm not too, too familiar with throwing this stuff, but I know we'll probably be able to cast it a mile. Cause that's one thing about spinning rods, you can cast light lures and that's where they really come into play at. All right, we've got a little rig set up right here. It's a little swim bait with a nice little swim bait head. I need to start throwing these things more off. I forgot about casting dishes. You can cast a little bit farther with the spinning rod. If we catch some bass on this thing, I might fall in love with it. I think it's that light line. On most of my spinning stuff, I always put like whatever I had. So that was normally 12 to 15 pound test, but this like eight or six pound test. I'm not sure what it is, but it's definitely light. You can definitely tell a big difference. I should have been using the lighter stuff. So first impressions of just casting up here on the dock. I really like it just because I'm able to cast it so far. It's something different. I always like using different stuff. I hated on spinning rods a little bit in the beginning of the video, but actually, truthfully, I really don't. I hate them. I just don't use them ever. It's just easier for me to pick up a bait caster and throw one of those, but I have no problem with the spinning rod. Let's go to the pond. Let's get the kayak unloaded. Try to catch some big mouth bass on this new combo. Okay, the best thing about buying a new combo out of Walmart for me is always, if it comes to lures and making myself use a new lure that I'm not super familiar with, a couple videos ago, video I recorded in November actually, I tried to throw an underspin for three or four hours. I didn't get any bites on it, so having one today this isn't it's the exact same rig just this one doesn't have a blade under the bottom so we're gonna see what we can do with it today i mean i don't think there's anything wrong with this combo i really want to catch one on this and then switch over to a crankbait because i want to see what a crankbait is going to feel like on this super light line on this spinning combo so most of the time when i throw a crankbait i'm going to be throwing it on like 10 to 15 pound fluoro and this is light monofilament let's see if there's any major major differences and what's crazy about this too is like there's no vibration or no nothing to really feel this is going to be a little bit slower gear ratio over reel too so like it's really going to be slow i got to make sure i give it enough time to get down as deep as it can possibly go to catch one of those big fish that are going to be probably sitting on this dam if i had to guess because the water is going to be a little bit cold so i think i'm in the right spot to catch a big one and i think i have a good lure on to catch one a lot of fish and then two a big one but we'll see if they want it or not casting this thing out feels like a regular spinning combo see the reel does not feel the greatest it does feel a little cheap you can tell it's definitely a walmart combo it's not a two three hundred dollar spinning reel but do you really need that in my opinion no and i said this in the last gear review video in the last like combo i did i think most of the stuff if it makes it on the shelf at walmart is going to be decent i think where your problems are mainly going to come in at for most stuff is going to be when you start using it 
after a year, that's when I'm gonna start to notice like, okay, I don't like this. Okay, I like this feature more on this one than I like it on this one. So I think as of right now, we're probably gonna be pretty much good as far as like quality and everything. If the, As long as the thing doesn't blow up or don't miss any fish with it or don't miss a whole bunch of fish with it. I think that we should have a pretty good setup here. And then too, we can zip this thing. Like I'm casting all the way. Oh, that's one. I don't know what to do. That's not a fish. Oh, I'm honk. <laughs> I was like, why is it not moving? Oh no, that's not good. I know it's deep over here. So that thing, whatever it's hung on, is probably a little bit deep under the water. So let's see if we can go get it. I haven't even put my pedal drive down. Oh, I got it back. It took a while. Next morning. All right, boys, back for day two. We went inside in a tree stand this morning, did not see a single deer, no squirrels. Saw a couple birds though. Um, So we're gonna have to figure out something to do. I'm probably gonna go buy some game cameras and corn. I know it's mid season right now, so it's not the prime time to do that, but just wanna see what all do we have. We've had more cameras out on our property, but we have a couple stands that don't have cameras on them. So I just wanna see if they're coming in at night or just see what, just to see what we have. So we're still out here with the spinning combo. I got it hung up while I was fishing from the dock. So I just left the combo over there and I didn't want to lose my frit side. Um, we switched over from the bluegill pattern frit side that we were throwing last night and now we are throwing a red one. We have wind similar to how the wind was out here on Wednesday, today's Friday. Yesterday was a little tough, but hopefully today will be better. I've seen some fish blowing up and stuff like that around some of the docks and some of the places out here where they normally do that at. So hopefully that'll be a good sign today. Hopefully we'll be able to redeem ourselves from what we did yesterday. That was my only red for its side too. I don't really want to throw a small one, but I think. Got one. Fish on. <laughs> hey. Yes, sir. Not a crazy one, but it's the first one on the spinning combo that we've been sitting out here for an hour trying to catch a fish on. Yes, sir. We're going to boat flip them. Boom, baby. Yes. Yes. Golly, that took way longer than it should have. Yeah, I did not believe that we had a fish. Oh, that feels so good. Oh my goodness. This might be the best. Every fish that I've caught so far this week has felt really good, but I think this one might be my favorite all week. I love spinning combos to death. I really just need to start picking them up more. This is not the biggest fish in the world. It's not a big fish at all. It's maybe a pound, but it is our first fish on the vengeance spinning combo that we got for 15 bucks out of Walmart. Would I buy this combo again? Yes if I needed another spinning combo. I will say you can definitely tell it's cheap and you can definitely tell it's a lower end spinning combo. But I mean, I wouldn't pay, I wouldn't pay any more than 60 bucks for this thing, but for 15 bucks, heck yes, I'd buy it again. That's just more of a me problem with not being familiar with spinning reels and not using it right. I think that's a lot of, a lot of fishing stuff. Like when people say negative things about it, I think 99.9% .9 of the time people don't use stuff right. But I mean, yeah, it's not the greatest spinning combo in the world. Not gonna give, not gonna lie to you, but at the same time, it will get the job done for 15 bucks. I think I definitely wouldn't spend any more than 60 on it. Um, But like I say with everything, you just have to go to the store, pick it up feel it yourself turn the handle a little bit yourself and see what you think about it all right dude thank you so much you just saved my day you have no idea see ya whoa oh no the camera did not catch any of that guys i'm sitting here on the phone with my girlfriend and i just caught like a four pounder right here in front of the kayak oh man that sucks the camera was not on for any of that it bit my front side three or four times and kind of took it off a little bit but I never set the hook on it because I wasn't sure if it was a fish or like a stick or something like that. But it ended up being a big mouth bass and I'm gonna show it to y'all, hold up. Say something for the camera. Fish them hard, baby. Larry catches the biggest bass. Yo. <laughs> Boom, boys. How about that one right there in front of the kayak? I was literally sitting on the phone with them and we were just sitting here talking. I saw something jump like right here in front of me and I cast it over there three times with a small frit side and it hit it all three times, but like I kind of thought it was a stick because it hit it in different points. So I just figured it was like, something in the water i was running over and then that last time it finally ate it and ate it good and i set the hook and he was on there i didn't believe it at first but the thing my it looked like my lure was swimming around in circles underneath the water i was like oh that might be a fish sweet boys you don't know how good this feels to hook up on this spinning combo because when i first got it i absolutely hated it but now i love it <gasps>
Sweet. Oh, I think we have a scale too. We're definitely gonna get a weight on this one. This one isn't too big. I thought it was a lot bigger. I thought it was a five when he first ate it, just because my adrenaline's like, I had my adrenaline hasn't pumped in a while. So, you know, when it started back to pump, it pumped all the way. <laughs> scale with this, let's see. All right, let's see what you weigh, dude. Zero, zero, you weigh more than a pound and four ounces. There is no way. You weigh about three pounds. All right, zero, zero, three, nine. Boom, a three nine on the spinning combo. Let's go. Thanks for pulling up on me, dude. I hate that the camera wasn't on. That was such a perfect eat. Like we were sitting there talking, I kind of faked at the hook and you know, I was trying to be respectful to Emma. I didn't want to be yelling at her. Didn't want to be yelling over her speakers in her car. So like, I was trying to be kind of quiet and ate it three times and I was like, oh, that might be a fish. And I saw it come up and eat some stuff on the surface. I was like, oh, that one looks like he might be a little big. Then he finally ate it. Man, that was cool. That was a cool eat. That was very wholesome right there. Took me a minute to catch some fish on it. So we finally caught two on it. And I mean, it doesn't feel far off from any other spinning reel that I've used. Durability on it, I would give it probably a three and a half, three out of five, just because reeling it, I could kind of feel like there was a little bit of grinding going on on the inside of the reel. I couldn't tell you what it's from or like why that is. I'm sure if I took it apart, put some oil grease in it, probably work fine. These were on clearance. They've been out for two years, so I'm not sure if these have sat on shelves for two years or what, or if they've been in back rooms or whatever. They're definitely, you can feel that there's a little bit of resistance in there. I don't really think that it hurt, but I mean, for 15 bucks, you can't beat it. Now, I wouldn't spend any more than like 60 on this thing. I'm not a big spinning reel guy, so I'm not really the guy to ask about like, hey, should I buy this spinning reel? Should I get this one or not? All I can do is tell you if they work for me or if I think that they're a good combo. Me personally, it's not really being that big of a spinning reel guy. I really don't know if I would go back for this thing. It's nice to have in the arsenal. I'm not sure if I would own two of them, but for 15 bucks, I would buy one for 15 bucks, but I'm not sure if I like it enough to go buy two for 15 bucks. And if I did buy two, it'd just be to have. It wouldn't be to sit in the arsenal. These would make like good Christmas presents. They work fine. There was nothing wrong with it. There was no flaws. Didn't really miss any beats. Um, there were a couple times where the I tried to flip the spool over and it wouldn't flip over. But that happens. I've had that happen with two three hundred dollar spinning reels so i think that happens with every single spinning reel so yeah that's pretty much it i'm just happy that we caught two or three fish on it so i could show you guys a fish catch on this combo because i was really contemplating last night i was like i'm just gonna upload it without any fish catches but i'm happy we were able to pull something out of the water with this thing it wasn't the greatest couple of catches in the world but we did get it done with this thing so guys i appreciate you hanging out with me today um we are we're not doing vlogmas but i'm shooting for every other day and as of right now i'm recording this on december 2nd i have videos all the way up to december i should be good to like the 15th or so so by the time you're seeing this it might be december 15th when this gets uploaded so hello to future me and future all of you <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for hanging out with me today don't forget to leave a comment basically just let me know what do you want to see on the channel because i do try to pull from you guys' comments to inspire the content on the channel i make what i like to make but also i want to make stuff that y'all are going to like to enjoy so we like to find a nice even mesh point somewhere in the middle so we can both be happy when i click on the video and when you click on the video we're both we're both super happy to watch it so stay tuned guys we got more content coming up in december i got a lot of stuff planned i'm actually taking a trip to go see mr alex rudd next week then we're going to louisiana the week after that so We'll see how it goes. We got a lot of stuff planned for December. I think it'll be a good month. We're just hoping to kill a deer. I want to kill a deer in December. Fishing's cool. I've never been able to really bass fish before in December and actually catch a good fish. So this is cool to be able to come out here and catch some nice fish in December because normally when fall time comes around, the bite just stops in most of the ponds I used to fish. But out here, we still got a chance. So stay tuned for all that, guys. Don't forget to fish them hard and have a great day. I will see y'all later. Peace. Chasing a bag, I'm racing the clock. Look at them flop, watching them flop. Used to see this on my sleep. When I ain't had shit, but my thoughts in the car. I really was lost. Now I'm public with the soundscapes.